Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to create some English irregular verb bingo cards using software called Bingo Card Printer, which you can download from bingocardprinter.com. This is the initial screen of the software. I click Create New Bingo Card Project, and I have a choice of type of bingo card I want to create. I can start from a blank bingo card, enter my own words, choose alphabet, numbers, school, choose uh, school subjects like geography, history, science, math. Uh, I can also choose um, events, which includes uh, birthdays, baby showers, bridal showers, and so forth, holidays, Christmas, Halloween, and Easter. And if I go in English, there are options for English grammar and English as a second language. And if I scroll down, I will find irregular verbs. Now, irregular verbs, just to refresh your memory, are words that don't follow um, a, a standard pattern that English verbs follow when you convert them into the uh, past uh, tense or into a uh, present participle. So, um, for example, a regular verb like smile, to smile, would become um, uh, smiled uh, and uh, smiling and so forth. Uh, whereas an irregular verb like to be would become been in the past or being in the present tense or was or were in the past and so forth. So it doesn't follow a regular structure. Now, uh, another thing uh, about it is um, the many irregular verbs are only partially irregular in the sense that, um, for example, um, uh, the word may have uh, an irregular uh, in one particular tense but not be irregular in another tense. And so we've included words in the list that are irregular in any, count as irregular if they're irregular in even one tense. So. Um, there are several different options relating to regular verbs, templates available in the program, irregular base forms, irregular past participles, regular past simple form, uh, irregular verbs present participles, and the third person singular uh, present tense forms. Uh, so uh, those are the options you have to choose what kind of irregular verbs you would want to do. I'll start with the base forms, uh, and I either click on that item or double click on it, uh, or so I click on it and click OK, and I've now started my uh, irregular verbs bingo card. On the left hand side are the words, uh, on the right hand side here is a sample bingo card with those words. Um, I could add more words here if I wanted to by typing them in. I can also uh, highlight items and delete them, so I could customize the word list if I wanted to, uh, but I'll leave that list as it is for now. Um, now uh, I can also customize the size and appearance of the bingo cards. I can make a 3x3 bingo card, 4x4, 5x5 bingo card, which I started with, um, or 6x6, 7x7 bingo card. There's 7x7, for example. I'll stick with 5x5 for my demonstration because it's fairly easy to read on the screen. Um, I can also change the heading of the bingo card. Do I want a heading? If I don't want it, I can uncheck it. If I want it, I can leave it on, and if I want to, I can change the actual text of the heading. So, for example, if I want to call, make the heading verbs, I can do that. Uh, I can choose whether or not to have a special free space square in the middle of the bingo card. Again, I can turn that on or off. And I can um, change the text of the free space square if I choose to. Uh, there are also options for changing the fonts and colors. So, for example, let's change the heading color just to, uh, to show you. I'll make it pink. And let's make the free square square light blue. And let's make all the other squares uh, yellow. Just to, uh, and we'll change the line colour as well, just to make it very distinctive. We'll use green lines. And I'll click OK, and there's my uh, bingo card with the w words in those colours. could also change the fonts as well. I won't bother with that right now. But it gives you an idea of what's possible. Um, you might also notice here the list of words is um, in alphabetical order, the same as in this list here. Uh, on the real bingo cards, the words will be shuffled around and will be different than every single bingo card, and you will see that when I show you what printing looks like a, a bit later on in the video. Okay, let's suppose I'm happy with the design for the bingo cards and now to print. I'll now look at the printing options which are over this side. Print call list basically allows me to print uh, an extra page or pages with um, this list of words in random order as a reference to the bingo caller. It's very handy if you're using words uh, or the word list in a classroom situation and you need a printed reference to the words that are going to be uh, called out. But if you don't want it, you simply uncheck it. But I will check it on so that uh, I can show you what it looks like in the demonstration. 
Um, it, there is also another alternative to call list built into the program where the program will help the bingo caller choose items during gameplay, sort of live, and I'll show you that at the end of the video. Uh, okay, anyway, continuing with the printing options, I can also choose how many bingo cards I want to include on each page of the um, uh, printout. I could put more than one bingo card per page if I want to, which will allow me to save paper if I'm printing a lot of bingo cards. The downside of printing more than one per page is, first of all, the bingo cards will be smaller, and secondly, if I'm um, giving one bingo card to each player, I might actually have to cut the paper up. Uh, but there's obviously the advantage of saving paper, so it's a choice you make. And the last option here that's a bit interesting is how many bingo cards I want to print. I can put in uh, as many as I need. I can put in one, I can put in ten, I can put in a hundred, I can put in a thousand, I can put up to nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine. So in my example, I'm going to put fifty, and uh, I'm now ready to print. I will have a print preview so you can see on the screen what the printout would look like. First page here is the call list. Uh, it does quite a lot of words on this particular template, so it actually is in two columns, and it, in fact it goes on to uh, an additional pages because of that. There's actually three pages here, yeah, maybe previous page, you can see the page two, page one. Um, after the call list, I will get to my first bingo card. I'll zoom out a bit so you can see the whole page. There's my first bingo card. The words are arranged randomly on the uh, bingo card, the randomly selected from the list because there were actually more words than can appear on any individual bingo card. And if I click next, I'll get a second one which is different, and a third bingo card that's different, and so on. And as I put in 50 bingo cards, there will be 50 different bingo cards generated by the program there. And if I um, close the print preview, I will show you one other option which I mentioned earlier. Software can help the bingo caller choose items during gameplay. Um, without using a call list, and then instead what you do is use this option here, call game. Simply, uh, the software simply takes one item out at random uh, and displays it here on the right hand side. On the left hand side it shows you the current item and any previous item. So when I click next it will choose another random item, which now becomes the top item and the previous item becomes the second item. And then I'll choose a third item and you can see the same process continues and four, fifth, sixth, and so on. So again it's very useful to uh, a bingo caller and eventually as you can see a scroll bar will appear on the left hand side so you can always keep track of how many items you've chosen. Okay, that's it for my demonstration of irregular verbs bingo cards. The software is called Bingo Card Printer. You can download it from bingocardprinter.com. Uh, it has a free trial version which you can download and try out for free. Uh, and if you like the free trial you can register and upgrade to the full version of the software which is what's shown in this video and allows you to do everything you've seen in this video and a lot more besides. Uh, both the free trial version and the registered version include, include hundreds of ready-to-use templates for bingo activities to get you started. Um, and that's it. So I would recommend you go to the website bingocardprinter.com, download and try out the software. Thank you very much.